Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you five Job Form table templates for marketers. These are super useful and super easy to implement. In this video, I will be showing you these five templates and how to actually use them. Now, we don't stop there. We have over 250 various templates for different industries. So let's go check out these five templates right now. All right, let's get started. All the links and templates that we'll be talking about in this video will be provided on the top of this video and in the description. The first template that we're going to be talking about is marketing plan template. This is really useful to keep track of what's going on now and what's coming in the future. Now, the links that we will be providing will take you to this section. We can either use a template or we can see the demo. Let's go start off by checking out the demo. Now, in this section, we're able to see what this ta table template actually includes. So for example, we have discover table. For example, we have plan, we have team, and we have a form tied to this template. Now, in case you want to check it out, you can see what happens in the tabs. You can check them out. But what happens if we want to use it? Well, we can click on use template. Let's decide that this is something that we want to use because it fits our needs or it might need a little bit of tweaking to make it more personalized for our business. Now, this template, it has the quarter tasks, responsible team members for this task, the cost of this task, the status, the start date and estimate date. We also have a section for the teams. Now you can add more teams right here if you need. And this comes with a pretty useful feature. It, it's tied to a form. So let's go over to view the form and you're going to see how easy it is to actually fill it out and have that information ready on job form table. Now let's fill it out. Let's just say, for example, we need to do something for quarter four and the task will be remodeling of the offices. All right. And the start date, we're going to say it's going to be, oh, we're going to say, for example, December 2 and the end date will be let's go to December December 9th so it's going to take one week to do this the cost of this is going to be for example $12,000 and who's going to be responsible for this well it's going to be Edward and Stephanie let's submit it now it's submitted let's go to our job form table and here it is quarter four remodeling of offices who's responsible Edward and Stephanie cost status the start date and the end date super easy to implement to keep track of your marketing plan now let's go into our next template which would be social media calendar this is really useful also to keep track of what you're going to post what you're going to do with a calendar so again we can view the demo but in this case we'll go straight to use the template Okay, here's our calendar view. Now, this is really useful to keep track of what needs to be posted and what has been posted with it. Now, there's several views that we have on job form tables. One is the content for teams. Now, who's responsible for the social media content, the events and celebrations that we need to remember, for example, President's Day, Martin Luther King's Junior Day, Easter Day, Mother's Day, Thanksgiving Day, and it helps us remind it. That's why we need this tab right here. Next, we have the calendar view that we saw already. The content details now what has to be posted and what's being posted for example the post title the content type social media channel like for example in this case not everything is posted on all social media channels so for example this one's only posted on facebook this one right here now what happens for example this one this one's posted to linkedin instagram and facebook so it helps us keep track of all of that the publish time the instagram visual Twitter text, Facebook file, Twitter file, Facebook text, everything really neatly and organized right here. Even the links where it's been published. Who was it assigned to? The status and the Instagram text for it. Now, again, we have the view for the form. For example, if we open view form, we can actually schedule right here. For example, post title. In this case, it's going to be, let's just say, for example, Cinco de Mayo, all right, which is something that's celebrated. Content type, in this case, it's going to be a holiday. Where are, we going to, where are we going to post this? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. When is this going to be published? Well, obviously, Cinco de Mayo, which is 5th of May. What is going to be the publishing time? We're going to say at 5 p.m. We're going to submit it. And there we go. It has been submitted to our calendar. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's go into May. Here we go. Here's May. And here is that post that we've just created via form. 
Now, having those forms are super useful because you could have a virtual assistant use the form to fill out all the information and just view it here on job form table. And it just makes it really useful to have that form so we can fill out the information. All right, next job form table template for marketers is social media analytics template. Let's go use this template again. Okay, here's our social media analytics template. We have the analytics overview. For example, what happened on February, June, March, July, followers before, followers after, followers gain and lost, likes, comments, click through rate, engagement rate, conversion rate, engagement, all these analytics available for you to fill out and have them neatly organized so you can view them later on and also view them also on reports. We have the channels, for example, here we have Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and YouTube. These are the ones that are the ones that keeping track. You can add your own. You can remove what you're not using. There's the top content right here that helps you. For example, the top content for this one was what are we missing? And it was posted on January 20, 2020 at 1120 AM followers gained through that post conversion rate and all the information based on the top content for this. Also, we have the view form for this if we want to fill out the information through the form and have it filled on job form table next template we have is public relation tracker let's go use this template okay and in this case we're able to keep track of public relations for example we have the title which is a countdown things nobody told you clarity just you find the title right here publications the status the type the language used the assignee for this the featured website, the link, visibility, outreach status, publication date, contact name, and email. All that available right here. And who's the team for this? For example, here's the team. What does the team do? For example, in this case, translator, marketing, PR, position, their email, and the task. And again, with all job form tables, we have the form to fill out this information really quickly through here in case you don't want to do it on job form table. Next, we have the rainbow sheet template let's use this template the rainbow sheet template helps you record behavior habits in this case for example we have the title which is p2 p1 the gender was it male or female the age the role the company from that person and videos if we have any links to it right here we also have the observations for example for observation one there's p1 p2 this helps you record the behavior and again, we have the view form for this. We're able to fill out our job form table through their form. Well, those are five job form table templates for marketers. Follow us for our next tutorials.